Welcome to this tutorial video on the free radical mechanism. Here are the contents for this video. We'll begin with some definitions of the term free radical as well as a description of the three stages involved uh, and a worked example of the free radical mechanism and finally a small discussion upon the environmental and social impact of this mechanism. We begin with the definition of a free radical. So free radical is defined as a species with an unpaired or lone electron. Be careful with language here. A lone electron is not the same as a lone pair of electrons. Lone electron meaning just one on its own, as shown here in the diagram for chlorine, or indeed as shown in the diagram here for this chlorine free radical. They are highly unstable free radicals, and they usually form when UV light strikes a halogen, the UV light providing the energy for the homolytic fission to occur, which is a description of the way that the bond breaks. Homo meaning the same, and so therefore when the bond breaks you end up with two identical products. But we'll look at this again more closely uh, in a couple of slides. Here is a description of our three stages. So the free radical mechanism is characterized by initiation, which is the first stage, propagation, and then finally termination. We're now going to look at a worked example. So for this uh, slide, we're going to look at the reaction between methane and chlorine in the presence of UV light. And it starts with the initiation process. So the UV light, as mentioned before, provides the energy for the reaction to occur. UV light will strike the molecule. And as you can see here, we have a half-headed curly arrow going towards one of the chlorine and another half-headed curly arrow going towards the other chlorine. And that's basically describing the homolytic fission which is occurring here. So when this covalent bond breaks, one of the electrons goes to this chlorine, the other electron will go to this chlorine here. And we end up with two chlorine free radicals symbolized by this unpaired electron which we can draw as a dot here. This free radical is now highly unstable. It is looking to become stable by taking an electron and so the chlorine free radical will attack the methane molecule and in the process the chlorine free radical actually becomes stable, becomes HCl. When it breaks this bond, the bond breaks homolytically again and that leaves behind your methyl free radical. That methyl free radical can then attack another chlorine molecule and in the process it will become chloromethane which is now stable and when the chlorine molecule is attacked the bonds break homolytically which then creates another chlorine free radical and that allows the reaction to carry on and on and therefore this is sometimes called a chain reaction more importantly this is a propagation stage which means it's the spread of free radicals as you can see here the final step is termination and actually I've given three possible termination steps here Try to think of termination as the reverse of initiation, so this time you have free radicals coming together. They don't have to be the same, but in the case of uh, the first example here, they are the same. So two chlorine free radicals recombining to give you the chlorine molecule. You can have two uh, methyl free radicals here recombining, and this time it will give you the molecule here known as ethane. Or you could have a chlorine free radical and a methyl free radical combining to give you chloromethane. These are all possible termination steps. In practice, you are normally asked to write one. Okay, so having covered the three stages now, it's important to appreciate the environmental and social impact of this mechanism. The environmental impact is really that the breakdown of the ozone layer is caused by uh, chlorofluorocarbons and their interaction with UV light to create free radicals which then attack the ozone. This is a separate mechanism on its own. And the other thing to appreciate is that free radicals in the diet can be responsible for the development of cancer because, of course, they cause mutations in cells by stripping off electrons and destabilizing the cell. Therefore, antioxidants such as vitamin C and green tea are promoted as countering the effect of free radicals. That is the end of this short presentation on the free radical mechanism. I hope that you found it useful. Uh, please share and like.